Allow me to tell you my story. A story that made me one day wake up and hold a bottle of poison, ready to leave the world I was living in like I wasn't pleasant. I was born in a small village where men were told to men up and women were expected to express their feminine feelings, crying, mourning, dueling, burial ceremonies, yet I never felt any sense of belonging. I felt different. It started when I gained weight, but people could not find a better way to remind me that being overweight is unhealthy apart from calling me a pig, an elephant, and other sorts of dehumanizing names, but I had to smile and try to move on. Move on? Of course I was lying to myself. I sought advice from another friend and she looked into my eyes closely and asked me, is it even of a big deal? Just move on. I wish it was as easy as it sounded when she spoke. The problem is that no one fears your pain except you alone. My body insecurities are anticipated, nowhere felt safe, nowhere brought comfort. At home, at school, at work, people kept throwing jokes. I forced a smile but it was getting worse. I couldn't feel normal anymore. Months later, I got physically assaulted by silence over shame was the slogan. Family members and friends forcefully shut me down. I could have gotten justice. I wouldn't have this pain. It haunts my mind while holding my baby each and every day. John. I understand I was insecure in our relationship, but you ruined me when you used my anxiety against me, hold me cage of my past and reminded me that nobody understood me. If you only knew that all I wanted from you was comfort and care, I wish I never convinced myself that your intentions were pure. I first I need to go for therapy and sought advice from my cousin who apparently turns out to be a healthcare provider. I expected a level of understanding from someone who knew mental health was real, but she shocked me when she mocked me and asked me a hundred times whether I was mad or schizophrenic. But when we will understand that mental health isn't only about schizophrenia, You could be walking in a suite yet mentally unstable. You could be financially fit yet bipolar. You could be extremely religious yet battling anxiety. You could be a soldier yet hypomanic. You could be a lawyer with suicidal thoughts. You could be a farmer with depression. Mental disorders have no preference. Neither do they care if you are a god about. After everything, I felt the world had no place for me anymore. Maybe you will call me crazy, but don't. If you have never been in my shoes before, I was planning to overdose, but my baby's eyes opened. What an angel I was about to live in this troubled world alone. Her innocent smile reminded me life was worth living again. Maybe you are just like me. Maybe you feel rejected, alone, and unappreciated. It could be because of your physical appearance, finances, or race. Around me to remind you that the world is a better place for you. Stay for you. Stay for us. Your mental health.
Paras. <laughs>